Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dr. Siad channel. In the current video here today, we're going to be talking about attachment and swearing. Well, let's get started. <laughs> So why do we need to talk about attachment and swearing? Well, because swearing is one of those things that we do and it by and large is all right, it's okay, it's, you know, it's, there's no real uh, problem with the swearing in, by itself. You know, I, I kind of sometimes think that we're kind of, it's crazy how how we uh, latch on to words. It's like, oh, you said the F word. And because you said the F word now, you know, you're, you've dropped in dignity or in respect or in stature to me as a human being or things like that. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. But um, there are some harmful aspects of swearing. And I wanted to talk about in terms of that, in terms of attachment. So as you may or may not know, if you've been watching my videos, uh, that, you know, there are different types of attachment and there's avoidant, ambivalent, and disorganized and secure attachment. Now, um, with the insecure attachments, or so avoidant, ambivalent, and disorganized, and if you don't know about these, please go and look them up in, in my, uh, the other videos that I have here on attachment. It's basically like, when you're swearing and you have an insecure, anxious attachment, there are some problems involved in that if there are certain factors involved. And I'll, and I'll talk to you about these factors. When you're securely attached, you have a potential, you have the ability to be there for you, care for yourself, and have others care for you too, such that you can effectively work towards um, solving problems and healing. Now, with the other ones, because with the avoidant, ambivalent, and disorganized, you can't effectively work towards solving emotional problems for you in your life. You tend to either be avoiding those problems and they stay both in the short and long term, or you tend to project those respons the responsibility of those problems onto other people to help you with them instead or to deal with them instead of you as so often happens in ambivalent attachment or in disorganized that you tend to believe that you're not even worth dealing with those things, that you should be hurt and punished and so on and so forth. What then happens is that swearing becomes a phenomenal way to hide what actually is going on. And that is the true and genuine problem of swearing. When we swear in a way that it hides what's actually being experienced, that is when swearing goes pear-shaped. That's when swearing is bad for you, unhealthy for you, not good for you, potentially even harmful to you. So, for example, I might say, or someone might ask me, how are you? I might say, I'm effed. I'm just so angry at my boss because he judged me, she excluded me from this or that. It wasn't fair and I'm angry at my boss. I'm feeling effed. Now, in that example, I don't see a problem. The feeling effed was clearly defined, right? It was de clearly defined by what was going on underneath? I say keep I say I keep saying feeling effed because I think YouTube picks up on stuff like that and then restricts who can see this. I think young people need to be able to see this. Old people need to be able to see this. So I don't want it to be kind of censored in whatever country where the F word is not allowed for whatever reason. So you might say, you know, I feel effed. It's not the problem that you said. It's not. It's not a problem that you said you feel effed because you then clarified how you actually feel. You feel angry. Why do you feel angry? What's going on that's making you feel angry? That's all right. But what you'll find what happens with the different attachments is that they'll say, for example, I feel effed. And then the friend will say, oh yeah. And then the, yeah, my boss did this and that. It's so effed, isn't it? Yeah, when my boss excluded me from this or judged me about that or didn't give me the promotion, that's just so effed. What do you actually mean? What do you actually feel? When you feel effed. What do you actually feel? Angry? Sad? Anxious? Stressed? Disgusted? Guilty? Shameful? What? What do you actually feel? 
We don't know what you actually feel when all you say is that you feel F. You don't know what you actually feel when all you say is that you feel F. And that is how cursing and swearing causes problems for the avoidant, ambivalent, and disorganized attachments is that it functions as a cover word. Swearing functions as a word to cover up how you're actually feeling. And for the avoidant, the point is to cover up what, how you're actually feeling so that they don't have to look at it or express it so that you don't get closer to them. With ambivalent, it's so that they can't genuinely be cared for, so that they can't do it for themselves. If I keep saying I'm effed, then you're gonna to try to help me with being effed, we're both gonna fail, and that's what ambivalence is about. And with disorganized, well, I'm meant to just keep swearing and swearing and swearing, yeah, that's effed, you know, yeah, it's this, 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 life, this, 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 that, this, that, this, that, that, that. Because the whole point of it is that I should just keep swearing and be so aggressive and so, not aggressive, sorry, so um, obnoxious that eventually someone turns against me, right? I'm meant to, my boss hurt me and now you have to hurt me too. So if I, my boss can hurt me and I can just be like, ah, 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 then they can hurt me even more. Now security can come in and hurt me. Now you can come in and hurt me. So it kind of turns into almost this, uh, yeah, violent, aggressive, uh, anxiously explosive thing. So that's when swearing is not okay. So if you're finding that you're swearing in life, well, maybe what you can do is if you do swear, now and again, try to think about qualifying that by looking at what's underneath. You know, you can say, I'm effed. Uh, what I mean is I'm sad. Give that a go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again for the next one.